morning everyone, Tom here from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on this week's video. Uh, this one is going to be short and sweet. Uh, I had a question come up on the forums where someone was asking about saving equipment templates uh, for future use or for, for switching uh, maybe you know between computers, between users, um, you know to clients, to, to whatever. Now Plant 3D for the equipment that you, you create uh, through the create equipment button we can save these as a template okay so uh, just for argument's sake I'm going to do a centrifugal pump um, and here's here's all the values here so I can just click on here and go create uh, stick it at zero zero okay so I can go back and obviously modify this so let's pull up uh, SL so I want to make that two meters, for example. Okay, and I go okay, and you can see the the length of that base uh, gets longer. Now, for me to save this as a template, I right click on it, go back to modify equipment, or save selected equipment as template. So the first way is go back to modify equipment templates, save current settings as template. I'm going to put it on my desktop and just call it centrifugal pumps. Okay, and then. If we go to my desktop, so I can see here that I've got um, the the um, template file and a DWG. Okay, so I'm just going to OK that, and I can also do it by selecting the equipment, right click, save selected equipment as template, and again, same thing. I'm just going to throw a two at the end of that. And if we have a look on my desktop now, same thing. We've got the, the second files there. Okay. So in order, you can do this, you know, within anywhere in the project with the, the Plant 3D uh, equipment out of that dialog box. You could, in theory, and I'd have to sit down and test this, is converting an AutoCAD block into a piece of equipment and then saving that as a template. That might possibly work. Um, I haven't tried it, so it's something maybe I can do for, for next week's video. But for out of the box pumps and that sort of stuff, we can save it as templates. But like I said, I'm going to have to have a, have a bit of a play with the AutoCAD converted ones. In my mind, in theory, you probably really don't need to save them as a template. They can just be the AutoCAD blocks that you convert every time. Uh, but I guess it's something we can discover as well. Um, and then obviously converting inventor equipment. Um, Look, excuse me, that might work uh, as saving as a template, but again, because you've exported an ADSK out of Inventor, in my mind, there's probably no real need to save it as a template because it's already imported from something else. So, um, but yeah, let's have a look at that maybe next week. So, uh, hopefully, to the person on the forums, this answers your question. Um, if anyone watching this has any other questions, please. Um, put them in the comments below and I will endeavor to answer them. But as usual, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Please do subscribe to the channel uh, and check in next week and uh, let's explore a little bit more about uh, saving these equipment templates. So thanks again. See you later.